A tight second quarter here in Salamanca then, 12 to 11 in favour of Avienda. They have this 13 point lead, they established that gap with a 12 point advantage at the end of the first quarter. And uh, some strong play from Elanu with them, the leading scorer on the game with 7 points has helped their total here. And really having down the barrel of that one game deficit already. Now the end all hope to continue this momentum into the second half. See if they can tie this series at one game apiece. So for Fenerbahce, work to do. They've got to try and use that inside trio they used so effectively in game number one. They've been held really. Parker, just one of eight from the field. Two points for her after the uh, impressive first game in the EuroLeague this season. And then she had 23 points. And really, for Fenerbahce, they just haven't really got that offensive firepower going yet. They've played so well in game number one. 
dominating on the glass in that particular game they scored they had 13 offensive rebounds there was only 13 defensive rebounds for Avienda which is where they got their uh, excessive the extra possessions for Navache but tonight seven offensive rebounds for Avienda and they are the ones who have been helped out on the glass so quickly playing against the pressure a foul is called it will go against Givens bit too much pressure from the officials there Let's see Ali quickly as it tipped away by Givens sideline possession this time Vidali will come back handle the ball there she is point guard it Extraordinaire. We send Vidali. We go into the hands of Parker. Quickly comes high. Trying to find some room. She falls to the floor. Givens on her quickly. Quickly though. Turns. Gets into the lane. Vidali for three. Oh, she had two great looks from the three-point line. Vidali off those passes from quickly. And has been able, unable to hit either opportunity. And the ball will go back to Avienda then. 13-point advantage for them here. Is uh, three shy of their largest lead in the game. Got out to 16 at one stage. Is Givens trying to find an option. Eventually goes to the wing, and now Milovanovic gets it back. She can shoot the ball. Oh, there we go. Milovanovic knocks it down. Brings herself now to uh, nine points personal. Penetration quickly stops, gives it out to Gruder. Gruder rattles it home. Centering Gruder then seven. Three of five she is from the field after going six of seven in game number one. And the end up is the penetration of Gill. She is hammered to the floor, picks herself up and will earn herself a trip to the line. Foul against Centering Gruder. Strong drive. At the line, Narragill. Six points for her. Make it seven now. Strong game. And Avienda continue this fantastic first half. Look at that. This free throw. Despite bouncing out, they already have 40 points here. Still got. You know, not much short of two and a half minutes left. A high scoring first 20 minutes for the team from Salamanca playing at home then. As quickly comes off the screen of Gruder. Gruder's going to be open here. Here she sells the fake. Can't finish though. Stays with the offensive rebound. Trying to find an option. And it goes now to Parker. Parker gives it to Quigley. They'll space the floor. Quigley tries to go to the inside. Finds Lavender. She'll turn and fire it. But Gill with the offensive rebound. And at the end up with 40 points already in this first half. Can take their time. They'll be in no hurry here. The veteran leadership. Point guard position of uh, Dominguez. And then controls the ball. She kicks it. And now Givens on the far side. Oh, look at the burst of speed. But a rejection from Parker. Givens with a great move along the baseline. Looked like she was going to get the room. To finish with the reverse, but out of nowhere, Candy's Parker recovers and gets the rejection. Substitution. Cavedo goes out. And the rejection brings about a 24 second violation, I believe. So possession back for Fenerbahce then. Great work from Parker. As, uh, and it stays up. Veromenko has come in for Fenerbahce. Gills called for the foul. Two shots. Yeah, just tried to gamble, come over the top, get the steal, but Lavender securely got the ball. And we'll go to the line now. Until Lavender misses the first. 13 and a half points a game on the season. Silvia Dominguez then. Givens. It's a 2 3 zone for Fenerbahce, it looks like. Well, they slip into the man to man, but they can't leave that player open. Here's Milovanovic. She's 
knocked down her second triple in the last couple of minutes and what a lead it is now stretched out to 18 points the trap comes quickly tries to step through it it's going to be a foul and there's the girl she's frustrated she got very quickly in the trap Let the step through in the fake from quickly enough to draw the contact and she walks to the line Maybe Marginan comes in then. A Romanian international played a college basketball at Drexel University in Philadelphia. She'll step in as quickly. Fails to hit the first. It has not been a great first half. First 20 minutes on the road for Fenerbahce then. Just 10 for 28 from the field. That makes them uh, 5 of 9 from the line as well. Benitez in out with this host of Turkish internationals says then inside the final minute Domingo gives it over to give once again Just comes off the screen to Marginan quite the right an angle trying to find Alonu now she'll have to kick it out Domingo Three seconds on the clock, trying to find some space. Steps through, has it rejected? And it'll be a 24 second violation. Fenerbahce couldn't take the possession in, couldn't take the ball. Uh -oh. Get the violation, great defense from Lavender. Not only did she slow everything down, stop the penetration, but the quick rejection as well. So Fenerbahce trailing here in the first half. They've been dominated in uh, both halves, really. Vidali holds and waits, will take the final shot here. In no hurry, Fenerbahce. Vidali loses the control of the ball, picks it up. Double team, tries to find somebody, flips it high. What a catch, Lavender. Oh, the extra pass. Kanitez on the brother, gets the finish. Great team basketball from Fenerbahce. And will that be enough to give them some momentum heading into this second half? Because the first 20 minutes has been dominated by Avienda. The team that needs to win to keep their EuroLeague women's season alive has done exactly what they hoped in the first 20 minutes. An inspired performance from them. And despite the, back to the basket of Canites on the buzzer, it is still a 15-point lead for the hometown team. The team from, Av from Salamanca, Avienda 43 Fenerbahce 28, so incorrect caption there. The lead 43 to 28 at the half. So the players will go to the halftime locker room, they'll get to talk it over, and there will be a lot to talk about in that Fenerbahce. Um, conference because they have not played the basketball we've come to expect from them throughout this season remember Fenerbahce came out of group A with a 11 win and 3 loss record they finished in second place and uh, they won the opening game between these two teams comfortably winning all four quarters by 10 points they scored 80 points or 78 on game number one today though they've been pegged back just 28 points for them in the first 20 minutes as the uh, the team Perfumerias Avienda has really scorched the nets for 43 points and opened up a commanding lead they are 5 of 10 for 3 point range Avienda led by the 3 of 6 from Milovanovic and uh, Despite no player being in double figures for the Spanish team, they've used a balanced scoring effort. Six players having more than two, two field goals or more. And they've won both quarters here to give themselves this 43 to 28 lead at the half. We're going to take a break then here from Salamanca. Make sure you join us for second half action. It is game two of the best of three series in the quarterfinals of the EuroLeague for women. And right now, it looks like we'll be heading back to Istanbul to the Metro Energy Sports Hall for Game 3, if it stays this way.
Welcome back to Salamanca then. Game two of the best of three series here. It is 1-0 to Fenerbahce. At the half, the hometown team having to have the lead. You can see they've won both of the quarters on the way to this commanding 15-point advantage at the half. Still a long way to go in this one, but at the end of the note, they must win here at home to send the game to the third and decisive game. That will, of course, be played back in Istanbul. But the winner of that game then would move on to the final four. So in the first half, it was a strong performance from Elena Levinovic. Seven, nine points for her to lead the way for Avi and uh, Veromienka leads Fenerbahce with seven, and number 11. And we are set to get underway. Avi and in the second half with Alonu Dominguez, Milovanovic, the Souza and Gibbons out there for Fenerbahce. They have Vidali at the point, Romienka, Parker, Gruda and quickly out on the floor. And uh, Candice Parker after such a strong game one, struggled from the floor. Here she is in the corner. See if she can get going in the second half. Penetrates, no foul. The quick three then from quickly comes up short. Great work on the glass for Romienka, but a strong rebound in the end from D'Souza. We're going to get a technical foul, I believe, here. <laughs> so the lead will continue. Avienda, what an opportunity at the start of the second half. Vanovic at the line. It's number one. She is the first player into double figures then. It is a technical foul called against Candice Parker. Parker struggled. Now one of nine from the floor she is. Just two points on the game, but we know the quality she possesses. 23 points in game number one. Look for her to bounce back. Givens then will cut through and screen. Now Manovic squares up against the bigger Vermienka. Vermienka playing some good defense, challenges the shot. Gruda snatches in that rebound quickly handling the ball Show a lot of pressure in the first half Ali quickly great work from Givens to deny it into Vidali's hands Vidali the playmaker often looks to run the play from the point guard position and now quickly he's going to have to try and turn the corner finds Gruda can she finish no but there's going to be a foul called I think they want to go against D'Souza So Fenerbahce struggling, Vidali being forced off the point into a position she doesn't really like to play. Not a great shooter in the way that, say, Quigley is. So when Quigley handles the ball, it just changes the dynamic for the Turkish team. The foul was called against the Lonu, not Quigley, uh, excuse me, not D'Souza. Gruda's jerky form at the line, one of two for her. French International as the steal comes on Vidali and she finishes the play. Big mistake from Avienda then. Gruda moved to eight and then Vidali with her first points of the game on the steal and finish. Here is D'Souza giving it over to Alonu. Now she will try and square up against Sandrine Gruda. Gruda challenges but look at the offensive rebound and the putback from D'Souza. That's the problem with the switch. D'Souza getting to the inside. Great work on the offensive glass to clear up the missed shot and finish it as quickly. Trying to find some room. Here she is. We need to find a way to get the ball to this big front line. Here is Parker getting the score. I mean, the scoring threat for Fenerbahce definitely on the inside. So Vidali and Quigley have to find a way to get Rumienka, Gruda and Parker some shots. Something they, uh, they failed to capitalise on in the first half. Givens, closely guarded by Quigley. Now, Milovanovic. Milovanovic is pushed by Veromienka. The better Russian. Veromienka, strong first half for her with seven points. Commits the foul. And it'll be sideline possession for Avienda. Here is Givens. Pointing. To Souza, to Souza, reverses it to Dominguez, and now they're looking inside to Givens. She is denied by Quigley, and then a foul is going to come against Vidali. 
Shot clock was winding down. This is the problem when you're chasing the game. As Fenerbahce are, they have to try and gamble, pressure the ball, get steals. And sometimes it opens up lanes for penetration or cheap fouls as quickly. Going for the steal again, commits another one. Sideline possession again, this time. Yeah, steps out. Trying to press Givens against Quigley. There she is. Quigley tips it. And it goes out of bounds. On Givens. Or four Givens. And the end to have the ball. Domingo to bring it in. Oh, a good cut from Milanovic. Tough shot from her, but she gets it to fall. Great work. The Serbian international. Form tonight, 12 now for her as Vidali finally gets to handle the ball. Look into the inside, they're trying to milk this Parker matchup. She will attack one on one, takes the tough shot. Parker Vidali, the offensive rebound, trying to find an opening, gets it back from Parker. Now penetrates. Can she find somebody open? Gruder to the inside, Parker left hand, and it rolls out again for Parker. So Dominguez throws it ahead. Open look, Milovanovic for three. She's on fire. Oh, 15 now. There she goes, Elena Milovanovic. She averages 14 and a half a game. With that, she moves to 15 points personal. And it brings up the half century mark for her team. 51 to 33 here. Avienda have the commanding lead. The 18-point lead, the largest lead of the game for Avienda. Three-point shooting has been the difference. Avienda now 6 of 11. As Milovanovic has four makes from beyond the three-point line. He has seven attempts. On the other side, Fenerbahce just one of eight. Ali Quigley, the only player to hit from beyond the three-point line. I've got to say, this defensive effort by Avienda has been of the highest of qualities. Avienda, the third place finishers in Group B. They only have a seven win and seven loss record in the regular season. They've lost their last three Women's EuroLeague games after the defeat against Fenerbahce in game number one. And they look anything but an unconfident team as Miramienka gets the score. Finally, Fenerbahce lit get the ball to the inside with a lot of room for their bigs to operate. Ranka gets the score, Milovanovic kicks it out now to Alonu on that far side. Here is Milovanovic again on the perimeter, pass deflected. She was searching for Givens and it's picked up by Quigley. Quigley between the legs, handles the ball, looking for an option. Pick and pop, it's taken away. Lavender's out there now, she's replaced Parker. And now Veromienka has the three-point range, but comes up short. Good work from Lavender. Veromienka thought about taking it again. Instead goes to Vidali. Vidali draws two players. Veromienka kicks it quickly. Wide open look, but it doesn't fall. Lavender, another offensive rebound, and she will go to the line. In game number one, the offensive rebounding... Oh, margin was key because despite the fact the teams took a similar amount of shots at the end they got out rebounded by 16 in total and actually of the 26 shots that Fenerbahce missed where there was offensive or there was rebounds 13 went to Avienda, 13 to Fenerbahce so an offensive rebounding percentage of 50 incredible work on the offensive glass for the Turkish team and that really has helped them as uh, Chantel Lavender 
chances. And he's second. The lead to 15. Dominguez moving the ball swiftly from one side to the other. Milovanovic thought about the three. Now she's got Canites chasing out at her, but not close enough. Another three. Milovanovic knocking them down for fun here in the second half. She has got confidence in that stroke here at home in Salamanca. Fenerbahce have to run her off the three-point line as Canites gets it back on the give and go. Fouled and will go to the line. Oh, Avienda just keep milking Milovanovic. And why not? The way she's shooting the ball, that's the foul. In the inline possession. Cavedo comes in, Givens goes out. Gill is in as well. It's a catch and shoot from Quigley. Doesn't go over Dali. But good hands on the offensive rebound before it was knocked out by Dominguez. possession for the Turkish Giants then there is Vidali trying to find an option it's the corner of Romerienko she finds Lavender quick move from Lavender yeah foul Lavender looking towards the official she got the call from uh, his colleague though I think that's a clear foul first look Foul scored against Gill. And will be at the line. 18 point advantage. This is tied with the largest lead of the game. As Gill has uh, just fouled out of this one. She leaves the game and will play just nine and a half minutes. Seven points, two rebounds, five fouls. One steal for her. She was all action. In under 10 minutes, we will not see her again as D'Souza once more comes onto the floor. Erica D'Souza is going to have to play a lot of minutes in the second half then. They don't have great depth on the inside. At the ender, is that the glimmer of hope for Fenerbahce? There's Alonu, backs it out. Cavedo reverses to Dominguez. Wide open, D'Souza with the easy finish. Where was the defence from Fenerbahce? D'Souza celebrates with the crowd. What a breakdown. That summed up the defensive performance, really, of Fenerbahce so far. The double team comes on Vidali. Canites kicks to Quigley. Now she's got some room. She'll try and draw the contact. Won't get the whistle. And a foul is called against Canites. An unsportsmanlike. So it'll be two shots and possession for Avienda. It's all working right now for Avienda. The hard foul from Canites. And we're going to have a timeout. Uh, so there'll be shots and possession to come to, for the Spanish team. And they will have the opportunity to stretch their lead above the 20 point mark. Great energy in the timeout of Avienda, and why not? They have momentum, they have the sizable lead here. And they will be confident of returning this series back to Istanbul for game number three. Come on, who at the line? Nothing but string on the first. Eight points personal for her. On the 
second. Will be their possession though. out Givens comes back in after a short break Corredo enters the ball from the side and the end a 20 point in, in the lead Cambache coming back with Candice Parker there she guards the ball Dominguez trying to find some room waits for the screen to come from D'Souza and now Givens loses it to Quigley quick hands from the Guard, Nadali. Wants the screen to come from Lavender. Finds her on the little short roll. Lavender, jump shot is good. Step number one for Fenerbahce then. They got the stop and then they finish the play on the other end. Levanovic. Helps out though. Wins it over the half to avoid the pressure. Now, at the end, they can get into their offense. Dominguez. This is the screen, draws Lavender towards her. There'll be a mismatch somewhere. Defence switches well away from the ball. But it doesn't matter as D'Souza fired up. Look at that. Oh, the defence did everything right. But it wasn't enough to stop D'Souza. Now look at D'Souza with the score. She moves into double figures. Lavender, same spot. Short on this one, though. D'Souza snatches in the rebound. It is just one. Board short of a double double now. Whichever to Corredo. Dominguez into the hands of Givens. So comfortable right now for Avienda with this big lead. A foul against Novanovic. She believes she was the one that was fouled, not the other way around. But it's possession back with Fenerbahce. But Dominguez is going to take a breather here. Lavender at the point. Brings it down. Vidali with some room. Attacks the paint. Flips it up. But it rolls out. And there's the double do double for Erika de Souza. Romanovic handles, gives it over to Cavedo. She's guarded by Quigley. Romienka jumps out, Quigley picks it up. A foul is going to be called against Cavedo. It's good for hands from Romienka. Got away with the travel before she had it tipped away. And team fouls means we go to the stripe here, quickly to the line. It's the bench, Vidali goes out. Two shots then for Ali Quigley. Just six for her on the game. And then out on the first. And not only have they not shot the ball well from the three-point line, Fenerbahce, where they're just one of ten. They haven't been too much better on the foul line either. Quigley, 0 of 2 from her. And now 8 of 17 as a team. Another 50%. A quick steal though. Good hands from Vremienka, but she's going to give it away. The pass to the inside. Asuza with the score and the foul. Well, that summed up the evening really. Fenerbahce had the defensive stop, the opportunity to run. Yeah, the threat of Milovanovic on the three-point line sees the defence run to her, leaving D'Souza wide open. Not only does she score, she'll draw the foul, get a chance to add the bonus point as well. D'Souza, the double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 6 of 7 from the field. Here she is, sizing up the foul line, she knocks it. Flexes the muscles on the way back down the floor. She is fired up. 23 points the lead now. Lavender. Look at how hard it is for Fenerbahce just to make a pass in this offense. Quigley off the screen. Loses it. Recovers. Hangs. Fouls and will go to the line. Fenerbahce just struggling to make passes in their offense. 
So after going 0 of 2, Henry Quigley will be back at the line. Liverpool University graduate. Makes the first. He's for the Hungarian national team. After receiving citizenship in 2014 and 2015, WNBA Sixth Woman of the Year. Award winner. We're going to need all of her experience here. And 11 and a half minutes left in the game. Cavedo to D'Souza. D'Souza. Finally he's misses one. Parker pushes in the opposite direction. Another mishandle from a Fenerbahce player as Parker now to quickly. She'll take the long three. And just can't find the range. Offensively as a foul is called. It's going to go against the Lonu. Good work on the on the glass spelling. Another miss from the line. Second good ten. 11 of 21 now as a team Fenerbahce from the line just not good enough to win a game in the quarterfinals of competitions such as this one the Souza guarded by Gruder and leave Gruder to guard one on one but look at the cut wide open it rolls before it falls but just too easy for Chrissy Givens where's the help side defense Givens just leaves her player for dead on the three-point line. A wide-open layup, and Fenerbahce, who just can't see a way back for their, 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 the way they're playing in this third period. they missing opportunities from the line, and they're going to have to improve their defensive execution. Chantel Lavender will bring it in bounds. The final minute of this third quarter. Benabache have the possession. They need to have a little spark here before we go into the fourth and final period. Lavender trying to find somebody. Parker was well guarded on the low post, so they go to the perimeter. Finally, the three point shot falls. Just a second. Three of the game for Fenerbahce. Two of 12 now. They are as a team. They get a spark offensively now. Can they add the stop on the defensive end? Dominguez controlling, holding, waiting for the clock to wind down. De Souza will probably come on ball screen. Here she comes. Dominguez goes the other way. Into the hands of Givens. Givens going right. Kicks it. It's picked up by Lavender. And that will be the end of the third quarter then. Fenerbahce, they got two straight possessions, one offensive, one defensive, but will that be enough to give them some confidence, some momentum going into the fourth quarter? Right now, Avienda simply rolling. They've won all three quarters. They've just scored 23 points in the third, and uh, they have a 21-point lead over the team that is coming out of Group A with an 11-3 record.
Fourth quarter on the way, and we end with the ball. 21 point lead. Fenerbahce has it all to do in this final quarter. They come out with the five. Gruda, Parker, and Lavender are across that front line. That's where the scoring's going to come from. Started with a good defensive position, possession as Korda and Bilic will be out there with them. And five for Avienda. That is Silvia Dominguez. 4.6 assists for her. And she'll be out on the floor with Ononu and Givens in the backcourt. Souza and Cavedo up front. Smaller lineup for the Spanish team. See how they counter this big uh, Fenerbahce front line. Lavender has it. Throws inside to Gruda. Oh, but Gruda blows the layup. She's frustrated. We do not see a player such as Sandrine Gruda miss shots like that very often. Gruda, 6 of 7 in game number 1. Just 3 of 7 today. There's another 3 buried by Cavedo. Well, the 3-point shooting. The difference between these two teams, perhaps. That is Park up. Find some room. The offensive rebound. Second attempt gets it to drop. Cavedo's second 3 of the game at the other end was the 8th 3 in 13 attempts. For Avienda, Fenerbahce having taken 12 attempts, only made two of them. Parker who struggled from the field. 3 of 14 now with the score. Dominguez off the screen, into the lane, kicks it. Givens Oops, uh, shuffled the feet before she took the shot. But play continues, got her pushes. Avienda will screen. Bruder, open jump shot, doesn't go, but good work on the boards for Lavender. We asked questions about this front line. And which one will dominate right now? Fenerbahce. Taking small steps to try and come back, but they're going to have to guard the three-point line and move very quickly indeed. They need a run, six, eight, and even ten points if they can. Novinovic comes back in as Cora buries another three. Well, what an impact she has had then. Blocking foul as she tried to get up the floor. Came in, knocked it down. And now, just too close to Givens. Dominguez holding. Givens as she comes high now. Dominguez will run along the baseline. In the corner, catch, fires the jumper, doesn't go. Lavender, big boards. They'll push. Through uh, Village into Gruder. Gruder waiting for the floor to spread. Lavender, that jump shot. Oh, Fernabache. They've got the game face on here in the fourth quarter. They have started brightly. That score means they are on a 7-3 run. In just uh, two and a half minutes, they've cut the lead to 17. Still a long way to go. But that's a definite positive first step for them. 
y estar aquí ya en las manos. Párate del scouting cuando tocaban los balones. Ay, de acuerdo, estoy ayudando, estoy activa con las manos. No hay que bajar ahí. De basic, indice, los básicos de defensa. Las manos, la actividad, de acuerdo, pero siempre en la línea. Vale, y yo estoy pintando. Y yo que no reciba tan fácil. Y todo el mundo leyendo los ojos. Aquí, cuando está looking for the passing time, everybody anticipate. Vale, vale, bien, bien. Está muy bien ahora el cuerpo. Está muy bien el cuerpo ahora. Vale, venga, amigo, seguimos. ¿sí? Salamanca crowd trying to inspire their team again. They played so well during this game, but it's perhaps the first time that Fenerbahce have got on a run, got some momentum in this game. They still trail by 17 points, perhaps, but, uh, although this, this lady, Romanovic, has been the X factor. She's been the answer any time there's questions asked. On this occasion, she's fouled by Candice Parker. Milanovic will bring it in from the end line then. Dominguez goes straight back to her. And she will use some great footwork, but the shot doesn't drop before it's tipped out of bounds. Another stop for Fenerbahce. Plenty of time left. The substitutions have worked. This backfoot combination of Cora and Bilic. A good job getting the ball to the inside. Marvin and Parker remain out there as quickly as come back in. There's Bilic stepping through. She's fouled. Fails to make the little shot in the lane. But she gets two shots from the line. Talked about recently the three point shooting, but as well 11 of 21. Benavache from the line 52%. Makes her first. Expect some pressure here from Benavache. They've been talking it over. They'll try and organize themselves after the free throws. They'll come up the floor. 1 2 1 1. Traps coming, Dominguez breaks it by finally given. She's going to be trapped. Her pass finds Milovanovic. They break it well, Avienda, but then Parker on the recovery, steals it away. Coming the other way, Parker crosses over once, twice, scoops it up. Will it drop? Yes, it does. Here comes Fenerbahce. Candice Parker with the score. A si stunned silence here in Salamanca. Parker, the acrobatic shot. She flipped it high. Got the shooter's touch. She'll be at the line for one more and expect this pressure again. Parker. Knocks it down. Moves to nine. Here is the trap. It comes. Dominguez is fouled. Third foul against Fenerbahce. They'll stay with pressure here, surely. Frustrated because they had Dominguez in a good trap as well. Dominguez breaks the pressure. Attacks. Goes all the way. She's going to turn it over perhaps. Fight for the ball. It's won by Fenerbahce. Here they come in transition. Cora all the way with the left hand. Gets it to fall. The lead back to 10. 14-3, fourth quarter in favour of Fenerbahce. Givens breaks the pressure. Manovic will try and slow them down here. Givens waits. And the shot clock already to 10. Manovic in, scoops it, misses. Lavender, the rebound. Fenerbahce looking to push. Parker ahead of the pack, but the pass from Quigley just too strong. She goes over to apologise. It was a great look from Quigley. The pass was the right one, just the execution just off. 
gives them the opportunity to come with the pressure once more. This time, Avian, the pass ahead into the hands of Dominguez. They wait. Dominguez again into the lane, scoops it up quickly, misses. She keeps going quickly, but Avian, they get the steal back again. Dominguez twice, she's gone to the basket early and the shot clock turned it over as Givens gets it, rejected. Another quick shot. Is this tactic playing into the hands of Fenerbahce? They'll go the other way. But it's tipped away from by Dominguez. Ivanovic beats quickly and draws the foul. Timeout. The fourth team foul against Fenerbahce will come back to sideline possession for Avienda. And both teams need to regroup here. Fenerbahce done a tremendous job to get the game near the single digits mark. They still have a long time to go. Ten points in five minutes is not a big total at all. For Avienda, they have to remember, despite the fact they're uh, trailing in the fourth period, 14 to three, they still have this lead and they're in no hurry whatsoever. Fenerbahce immediately pick up and full court pressure. They'll take the inbound pass. Gibbons will control. Not into the hands of Ivanovic. Oh, good feed to the inside. Olonu over quickly turns and scores. Well designed play out of the timeout. And Pache had no answer. Credit to Miguel Ortega, the man who drew it up on the sideline. The Spanish play caller for Avienda. The kick out, Cora, one extra pass. Parker, that's why she's there to finish off the play. She can't as quickly. Oh, attempted save goes out of bounds. Romienka's come back in. She got a hand on the rebound, but it didn't go for Fenerbahce there. Salamanca's crowd getting back into this one. trying to post up Milonu. Here she is once more, fouled by Cora. She's asking for the three-second violation. You can see why. Milonu's in there a long time. Action on the face. Sakura with the uh, disgust. It wasn't a three second violation called. Sakura Alonu. Goes one of two. 14 point game, 14 points a game scorer on the season. Here tonight. We need opened up to 13 once more. How? I bet you would love to break this three point shooting slump here. Parker, will she do it? Yes, she does. Parker buries the three. Gets herself to 12 now. The pressure will come. Here she is guarding Milovanovic. And then nearly a steal. Milovic jumps out. Claims she got the ball. She took a lot of the leg as well. There'll be team fouls against Fenerbahce. Manovic will be at the line. Cora heads 
to the sideline. Canitez comes in. What a game. Well, what a third period for Yelena Miller. Uh, Vanovic then she has 18 points on the game. She's yet to score in the fourth period. That's her first basket. Unconscious in the third quarter, though. She had three threes in that period. She's got a two as well. Two of two. Such a pure stroke. Didn't even touch the sides on either attempt. 20 per points personal for her. The double digit lead now to 12. Parker's open high. They go inside to Vermienka. She'll turn. Fades on the shot and it comes up short. Here the versatility once more. Ivanovic. She plays the four position. She posts and she also plays the point guard spot. Helps out against pressures. They're trying to isolate her against Quigley. Milano pulls up. It's the front of the room. Bounces clear. Fenerbahce will push. Look at numbers. Bilic going hard to the ring. Kicks it. Just manages to get it to Quigley. She steps back for a tough one. Comes up short. Her offensive rebound. Saved into the hands of Gib Givens. Chrissy Givens gets it over the half. We're under three minutes, and so Avienda can take more time off this clock. It's the most important thing for them now. The amount of time before taking a shot. Don't get the ball into the hands of Fenerbahce. They isolate for Fenerbahce. She'll take the jumper, and the offensive rebound by D'Souza. Picked up again after the loose ball, and it's a fresh ball team for them to work with. Dominguez attacks with five. Oh, good pass from her. A violation. That's what the official called there. Our oh, travel. Dominga dragged the pivot foot on top of that one. And that she will sub. So we've got a delay game here. And the argument over the substitution because Verumienka was heading out to be a substitute and they tried to sub her back in in the same possession. And it was not allowed. Once you've subbed out of the game, you have to go to the sideline for at least one sequence, one possession. That's why she couldn't enter the game again and wanted her back in for the offensive end. But Gruder will play instead. Quickly. Canitez. Trying to find quickly on that flare screen. She couldn't get it. Now she's going to have to use her dribble skills. Oh, she's double teamed. It's deflected. Dominguez is the first one to it. She'll throw ahead. Novich takes the quick one. I know they want to be um, aggressive here. Have the end up. Perhaps they have to slow at times. As Canitez misses the jump shot. Two players from Fenerbahce fight for it. Quigley now so closely guarded. Gets into the lane, stops. Has it roll out. Gruder taps it and it goes out of bounds. Now Fenerbahce, who shot such a good percentage in the first game between these two teams, they shot 54% from the field. They were 8 of 16, 50% for three as well. That's how they got the win in the uh, Metro Energy Sports Hall in Istanbul. But here tonight, that's been their undoing. 37% from the field. Just 25% for three. And that's considering they made a couple of threes in this fourth period at the start to give them, get them back into the game. Givens kicks it. You know, Hanovic comes up short. Quickly with the rebound. She loses it again. So many Fenerbahce players lost the control of the ball when they've been dribbling. Really. That's the quick screen. Now... Finds Gruder, Gruder, catch and shoot, she's got range there. Knocks it down, that's her type of shot in that mid-range area. Sandrine Gruder cuts it to 12, but we're inside, it cuts it to 10, excuse me, but we're inside a minute. The foul's going to come against Verumienka. Team fouls against Fenerbahce, so... Milovanovic will go to the line but to shoot two shots. <laughs> Milo 
Ivanovic. 22 points personal now. Oh, to 21. Already counted this one as falling for her. The 27 year old Serbian international does move to 22 points. Restores a 12 point lead. Inside pass. Ruda will kick it out. Rejected by Olonu. And will that wrap this game up? Givens in no hurry. Ivanovic, what a series she is having. 27 points in game number one against Benavache. 22 here tonight. Once again, she's been the star performer as she will try and cap it off with a pull up jump shot. Doesn't go. Gruda to Canites. Less than 10 seconds now. As Cora chases after it. Gruda catch and fires the jump shot. It's good for her. Two more points to her total, but it's not going to be enough here tonight. A superb performance at home from uh, Perfumuma Avienda. And the team from Salamanca, Avienda, take the victory here tonight. And they will send this quarterfinal series back to a third and final game in Istanbul. A winner takes all battle. As we will find out who will move forward into the final four. A great comeback win by Avienda then. They will regroup before playing once again that, as we said, the third and final game. And we will find out who will move on to the final four. Happy faces in Salamanca, the hometown team will shake hands with the fans. As this will be the last time they will see them in the Women's Euro League this season. But how delighted this crowd is that their team will be travelling to Istanbul on Wednesday night for the third and final game, the deciding game in the quarter-final matchup between these two teams. The series now tied at one apiece after the 76 to 66 victory here tonight. Now oh, we said what a star performance it was from Yelena Levinovic. 22 points, four rebounds for her. Two, uh, two uh, steals and two assists in there as well. She was only one of nine from two point range, but five of nine for three. And then we see the quarter by quarter score. Fenerbahce, a gallant comeback in the fourth quarter. Led by that front line, Parker, Lavender and Gruder, who all moved to 12 points, but they did not shoot the ball well between them. Parker just 5 of 17 from the field. None of them shooting over 50%. And it will be work to do for Fenerbahce. They do, however, have an impressive record at home. They're in their 14, 15 home games, 15 games this season. Excuse me, they have won eight of those on their home floor. And alongside the performance of Minovanovic, let's not forget the double double of Erica de Souza. 13 points and 12 rebounds for her. She is the one getting the attention from the press. Six of eight from the field. She was one of uh, four players in double figures. Alonu. And Givens also chipped in with 11 apiece for Avienda. I will leave you with some highlights then. A great comeback victory after trailing, after failing in game number one on the road. Avienda have recovered here and they will.